Good morning, staff and students. We come together today to thank our current college student leaders and acknowledge the work they've done this year as they hand over the responsibility to the new college leaders for 2021. First up, I'd like to thank the students involved in preparing this event in a different way, since we are not all able to gather together in an assembly due to the pandemic. But it also showcases the resilience and adaptability of not only our student leaders this year, but all members of our community during this difficult time. I would now like to hand you over to our current faith and mission captains, Rachel Alex and Jacob Ledden, who will lead us in recognition of country and an opening prayer. Although gathering virtually today, we stand metaphorically speaking in the footsteps of a millennia year old. May we acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land, the Rwandri willing clan of the Kulin nations, whose cultures and customs have nurtured and continue to nurture this land. We pay our respects to elders past, present and emerging, for they hold the memories, traditions, cultures and herbs of all Aboriginals and Torres Strait Islander peoples. Across the nation and hope they will walk with us on our journey. We also extend that respect to all staff, students and families within the Mary Mead community. Let us remember we are in the holy presence of God and each other. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, the 2020 leaders hand over responsibility of their role to the next leadership team. The next group of leaders that will shape Mary Mead for the next year to come. I ask God to come upon these newly appointed leaders and grant them strength, determination, resilience, and fortitude to carry out their role. And best serve the Mary Mead community from now and into 2021. God, please come, come, these, come upon these leaders and remind them of their role as a Christian on earth to live out the threefold mission of Christ, priest, prophet, and king. We ask for your intercession for these leaders to be a priestly mediator, someone who will stand up for justice within the community, someone who makes the right decision even when it's tough, to do what must be done when it's not easy or popular. We ask for your intercession for these leaders to be prophetic leaders in their community. Individuals who will guard your sacred teachings and beliefs and individuals who will be evangelizers of your faith. We also ask for your intercession for these leaders to be understanding, caring and always open to others. We ask for your intercession for these leaders to be kings, not supreme rulers, as Jesus lived out his royal office through service to others. This is the most important calling for these leaders and, these, and this role demands. It's to be a servant leader to all those around you every day of your life. Rachel and Ewan will now sing I Will by Citizen Way. Wandering, you always gonna feel this. 
always feel the love and support of our Mary Mead community and our God. Let it be done according, according to your word. Mary, our good mother, pray, pray for, for us. us. And let us always remember to pray, pray for, for one another. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now this morning, and we're preparing for 2021 already, and we have before us badges of the leaders that, that, that we'll bless in a moment. And, and we'll ask the Lord not only to bless their badges, but to bless them. And enable the spirit to come alive within them, and, and they'll play their role with Mr. Kenny and the staff in enabling the whole school to live in the way of men. And so we say, Lord, bless these pages. So we are sign of who we are and what we are called to do. Bless the wearers of these pages. That they may find the grace and the love deep within their hearts uh, to carry the whole school with them as they follow Mary uh, in their years ahead. It is with great pleasure that I have this opportunity to acknowledge our 2020 Senior Leadership Council and the entire Year 12 cohort. Year 12 is always a difficult year, however the pandemic has added an extraordinary degree of complexity to their studies. Despite this, the College has been impressed with the maturity, adaptability, flexibility and resilience demonstrated by these students to rise above the issues they have been confronted with on a daily basis. The year 12 year offers the promise of events that memories are made of. Rites of passage that they have waited many years to experience. We are saddened as a college community that this has been taken away from our year 12s. And also that we weren't able to share in these wonderful experiences with them. Many staff I've spoken to agree that we haven't seen the best of what the year 12 students had to offer this year. But we know that we've provided a platform during their journey at Merrymead to launch them into great things outside these school gates. Fundamental to the success of our Year 12s to this point and maintaining a sense of connectedness across the entire Merrymead community during these adverse times has been our team of 2020 student leaders. Both individually and as a collective, they have strengthened the culture of student voice within the Merrymead community this year through such things as recordings of key events like Merry Me Day and some house feast days, continuing the delivery of Wednesday community mass during lockdown, being a presence at the swimming carnival earlier in the year, and the introduction of a year seven community service program, just to name a few. Their legacy of one is one of increasing student involvement in the life of the college. I'd now like to present to the college community for one final time, our 2020 student leaders. Faith and Mission, Rachel Alex and Jacob Ledden. Chanel House, Natalie DeBono and Daniel Foskey. Chisholm House, Lauren Chan and Deacon Constable. Marcelin House, Alexandra Metz and Joshua Assad. Macaulay House, Tanika Williams and Daniel Safkus. McCormack House, Anugi Pereira and Nicholas Karabitos, who unfortunately is away today as he started his apprenticeship. Romero House, Bianca Verdi and Stephanie Ciola. Sport Captains, Indiana Bodley and Jack Bolan.
performing arts captain, Daniel Sabatino. Music captain, Cassandra Panotto. Our light captain, Nicholas Vermillion. And for one final time, our college captains, Anne O'Neill and Demetrios Bakos. I'd like to welcome them for their final address to the Merriman community. Good morning, Mary Mead. We are standing here before you, albeit virtually, for the last time as your college captains. It has truly been an honour and a pleasure to serve the school community throughout this pandemic and this year. Mary Mead is a truly wonderful place, a community filled to the brim with opportunities and people who genuinely care about one another. Unfortunately, due to this COVID-19 pandemic, many of these opportunities that we're normally accustomed to have not been available to us. So in this light, we urge each and every one of you to do as much as you can right now. Don't leave it until year 12, because believe us, time flies and the future is hardly ever what you plan it out to be. We would like to personally congratulate each and every one of you for making it this far and acknowledge your efforts in persevering during online school. Thank you to everyone for working with us and your ongoing support in our leadership journey and a special shout out to our 2020 leadership team who worked by our side. But now a time has come to an end and it's time to hand over the reins. It is with great pleasure that we introduce to the Mary Me community your 2021 college captains, John A. Brancaglione and Ewan Fernando. Good morning, Mr. Kenny, staff, students, and the Mary Mead community. Nguyen and I would firstly like to say thank you for the opportunity to stand in front of you all today as the 2021 college captains. We both sincerely thank Mr. Kenny, Mr. Brick, and all the staff who are involved with the leadership application process and would like to say that we are truly humbled and honored to take on this responsibility. To the 2021 leadership team, we would both like to say that we look forward to working with you all next year and believe that together we can strive to create a memorable year for all. To Dimitri, Anne and all the 2020 leaders, you have shown servant leadership while also demonstrating great strength through taking on these roles and also completing your final year of studies in a year filled with many challenges and adversity. As friends to many of you, Nguyen and I can genuinely say that we will miss your presence and your guidance within the college. You have all been role models to us and have consistently shown high standards. We will do our utmost to honour your legacy within our new roles by building upon your foundations and by giving everything to being the best student leaders we can be. We would also like to acknowledge the perseverance, courage and determination of the entire 2020 Year 12 cohort. You have shown that despite the challenges that each and every one of you have faced this year, you continuously strive to reach your goals. Nelson Mandela once said, a leader is like a shepherd. He stays behind the flock, letting the most nimble go out ahead, whereupon the others follow, not realizing that all along they're being directed from behind. Nguyen and I believe that this quote represents what we aim to achieve within our roles as college captains. We know that each and every individual within our school community is incredible in their own way and have great talents in numerous fields. Our vision as leaders for 2021 is that we would like all students to have their thoughts heard through the voice of the entire leadership team. We believe that your suggestions, experiences and recommendations are fundamental to the harmony and strength of the Mary Mead community. Your contributions will ultimately guide us to what we achieve within 2021. Together, we strive to make Mary Mead of 2021 
the most memorable, productive and unified year of all. For those who I haven't had the chance to meet yet, my name is Nguyen Fernando and I too am honoured to be standing in front of you all as one of your college captains alongside Jane. Even though you are not sitting in front of us today, we can truly say that we can feel your presence here. It is no surprise to anyone that 2020 hasn't been the year that anyone expected, especially as the start of a new decade. As a school community, we have lost so many amazing opportunities we would have usually had to come together to celebrate and acknowledge significant events as a community. However, with the help of a range of teachers and students during remote learning, we have been fortunate enough to come together through a screen and celebrate as best as we could. As most of us still battle the hardships of this pandemic, Jane and I would like you to trust that the light at the end of the tunnel is near. And as the senior students at Marymead, we are always here to support you and make sure your school life is one of the many highlights in your life journey. We hope that 2021 will be completely different from this year so that we can redeem the opportunities lost and can celebrate as one community like we would have usually have had throughout the year. We are not sure what the future holds for us all and we really hope that we continue to support one another and hopefully have a normal year in 2021. Nonetheless, we are ready for any challenges which may arise and we can confidently say that as the Merrimid community, we are strong enough to fight through any difficulties that may befall us. As current year 11s, 2021 is our final year of school and after 13 years beginning from prep, next year is the final 365 days from now we have to make the most of our time left at Merrimead. And together we shall take every opportunity which comes our way and leave the gates of Merrimead at the end of the year without any regrets, knowing that we have truly given our all. As the 2021 college captains, Jane and I cannot do anything without the help of you all. So next year, we look forward to working side by side with the students, teachers and the wider Merrimead community to highlight and enhance the family spirit which is already present around us. Finally, I would like to sincerely thank you for trusting in John A and myself to uphold in this legacy as student leaders. Thank you and God bless you all. It is with great pleasure that we now get to introduce your new student leaders for 2021. During community mass last week, Father John Murphy offered a blessing for the work of our student leaders, and we have the opportunity to formally induct them into their roles. The new student leaders will receive a badge later that were blessed by Father John and are a symbol of the faith-filled leadership asked of these students. However, Due to COVID restrictions, a representation of the role will symbolise the handing over the leadership responsibility for next year. This symbol will be presented to the incoming captains by their departing counterparts. I would now like to present the following leaders. Faith and Mission, Anne Rose Gigimon and Cassandra Requeza. Chanel, Christy Domofsky, and Mega Das. Chisholm, Jessica Karevsky, and Corey Thompson. Marcelin, Jayla Kavis, who is not here today as she is completing her Unit 3 4 dance exam, and Dion Vermaliotis. Macaulay, Brittany Zara, and Sahib Singh.
McCormack, Kristen Lando, and Chidera Obani. Romero, Ivana Illich, and Hadil Singh. Sport, Grace Wake, and Jake Mitskowski. Performing Arts, Bridget Camacho. Music, Samuel Vermeulen. And Lurk, Claudia Peroni. Please join me in congratulating our 2021 student leadership team. Jane and I will now lead the student leaders in our 2021 Leadership Pledge. We, the 2021 Leadership Team, will uphold the morals, values and beliefs which enhance community spirit and growth throughout Mary Mead. We will persevere in maintaining our vision, providing a voice and sense of belonging for all. We endeavour to model this every day as we work together as a dedicated team for the life of Mary Mead. As servant leaders, we pledge this to students, teachers, parents and families of our college. Good morning, our student leaders, both current and future. And can I start with our 2020 senior student leaders? To the leadership team, well, what a year you've experienced. You know, going through the, the year, I think you've been working at home as long as you've have been on campus. And who would have thought when we started 2020 that that was uh, going to be the situation. Um, if I look at you know some silver linings from all this it forced you to adapt quickly to becoming independent learners and ultimately more resilient and going forward when you embark upon your tertiary studies next year um, that's going to hold you in good stead. I just want to congratulate our leaders for what you've been able to achieve and what has been a very challenging uh, year. You know, when I think back to you as leaders, what uh, comes to mind is uh, the support you've given each other, I think which has been really important given everything we've uh, had to endure. Um, that the way that you've connected as a senior leadership team, well led by Dimitri and Anne, and I know that Mr Brick has been very happy with the level of support that he's received, and that our house leaders uh, have received from you, um, because ultimately they've had the responsibility of keeping our student body on track, keeping them upbeat, keeping them positive, um, about uh, what they're going through and the support you've given them um, has been a great uh, help and I want to thank you because it's been as you would know very challenging for our students when through no fault of their own 
a number of their everyday activities that they do have been taken away from them. Not to mention the fact that they have uh, not been able to see their their school friends on a daily basis, which has been the norm. So the support that you've offered when you know some of you may have had your own personal uh, challenges and struggles has been greatly appreciated and I thank you. Look, I can't sugarcoat the fact that 2020 has been disappointing in terms of the fact that you haven't been able to have the opportunity um, to do the number of leadership activities that you'd planned. And um, I do feel sorry for you because when we first selected our leadership group, both Mr Brick and I were confident that this was a group that was going to make a significant impact. Such were your goals and plans and your desires to continue to grow the name of Mary Mead, continue to make our school a place that everyone wanted to be at because there was strong support and there was an engaging atmosphere here that our students wanted to be uh, a part of. And in many ways you've been successful in the limited time that you've had here and I thank you for that. Um, it's a pity that we just couldn't uh, have you on, on deck for the full year because I'm sure as I'd be talking to you today, um, I'm sure that we would have been able to look back and see the number of significant developments that you would have instigated. Well, we, we come to the end of our, our journey as student leaders at Mary Mead. And can I thank you for your contribution, the fact that you wanted to put yourself forward as a leader, you wanted to get involved in the life of the college. And I wish you every success in the upcoming exams or those of you who are entering the workforce. Um, and remember that you'll always be a part of Mary Mead. Thank you. I'll now turn my attention to our 2021 Senior Student Leadership Team. Congratulations on being selected to be a member of our Student Leadership Team for 2021. When looking back at the whole selection process, what impressed me most was how many Year 11 students put their hat in the ring to want to be involved in the leadership of the college. And why that's important to me, because it says something about the culture of a school when students want to get involved and want to see the school uh, develop. If we can reflect back to last term when we had our in-house Year 11 uh, leadership days, and when I talked to each of the house groups, the focus was on reflecting on where the school has come from, where we are now, and where do we want to move to. And the, the challenge that I, I'll put to you now, in your role as senior leaders in the school, what are you going to do to drive Mary Mead forward so that we move from being a good school to a great school, to the ultimate school of choice in the northern districts? And as le student leaders, we value your input, we value your opinions. Please don't ever underestimate the importance that you have as role models to our younger students. Be strong, be consistent, be empathetic to the younger students. Show the students by your actions that you are proud of our school, that you're proud to wear the badge as a student leader, and that Mr Brick and myself will support you over the next 12 months. So in the interim, in the next four or five weeks, as you come together as a student leadership team, you need to set your mark about what impact you're going to have on our school community. 
what are we going to do to unite ourselves to be a really strong leadership team that people are going to remember in years to come as the students who made a difference in the life of the college. Good luck on the journey. We look forward to working with you. And once again, congratulations on your achievement. Bye for now. Well that brings today's handover event to a conclusion. As the Year 12 near the end of their time at Marymead and we eventually have all students back on campus, it's a great opportunity to reflect on what has been an extraordinary year. In response to a worldwide pandemic, we as a community brought the classroom into our homes. We've all had varied experiences of remote learning, but we managed to navigate our way through the isolation and will eventually, if not already, return with our friends back into the classroom. Although I imagine some of you may be missing the opportunities of eating whenever you wanted and sleeping in, that the home learning program provided, we are endeavouring as a college to return to some sort of normality. We are extremely proud of how you, your teachers and your families work through these difficult times and are preparing to tackle the uncertainty of what's to come. Once again, we thank the 2020 student leaders for being an authentic student voice of the college this year. Congratulations again to the future student leaders of Marymead in 2021 and may you continue in the footsteps of those in your role before you by carrying others alongside. Stay safe and look after each other. Thank you.